So Andrea Lansdowne, good morning to you. Good morning. How's life treating you? Oh, life is great. You got your West Virginia shirt on again? Always. You've never come here without a West Virginia shirt. When you see me, I'm usually wearing something West Virginia. Is that right? <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, tell me about People of Worth and the work you're doing in Martinsburg. Okay, so People of Worth is our foundation. It started in 2014. It started off as like a counseling thing for parents who needed help with their kids and, you know, how to communicate with the school system for their children to become better advocates. And then I got sick and, you know, I felt like God was talking to me. So when I got back on my feet, he said, I need you to open this grocery store. And I said, you can't get rich off a free grocery store. (laughs) (laughs) And believe it or not, I'm not rich. So Uh I was like, how am I going to do this? But he worked it out. We started off on Queen Street in a little 900 square foot. And it, it turned out great. We were serving like 100 people a week in this little spot. And God came to me and he said, you know what? This isn't big enough. You need to do clothes too. And I'm driving down the street. There's a place for lease. The guy's like, sure, you can have it. No money down. Come on in. So we went from a 900 square foot place to over a 3,000 square foot place. And now what we're doing is we have a free grocery store. So you can come in. We don't care about your income. We don't care about where you live. We don't care about how you live. If you need groceries, you want to come shop, come in. We have milk, eggs, cheese, bread, butter, uh, I don't know, any, anything you would see at a regular grocery store, we try to have a little bit of, right down to fresh fruits and vegetables. John Bodwell. I just got to say, wow, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Because there are so many people who are food insecure. Um, it's, it's scary. I mean, the, the cost of food has gone through the roof. I mean, it's unbelievable. How, um, how many people would you say you serve, you know, a week, a month? I mean, how, what, a lot, how many people come through your place? Well, I just did our numbers for last week, and we serve about 2,000 a week. Wow. Where, where do you get all the, the food? I mean, how does, it, how does that work? We get it from everywhere you can imagine. So people come in and they donate. They go, they go grocery shopping and they buy one can of beans. For me, one can of beans for them. And they'll bring it in and donate. Um, Giants, well, Martins and Weiss, they give us food donations. Um, we get grants, like Ecolab gave us a grant. We sow a little bit of everybody. People right off the street, you'd be surprised how many of our neighbors just come in with grocery bags and be like, okay, so this was mine and this one was yours. And that's how we do it. We've just been blessed. That is beautiful. Now, where is it located again? We're at 226 Winchester Avenue. 226 Winchester Avenue. What are your hours of operation, Andrea? We're only open six hours a week. So we're open Tuesday and Thursdays from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And then we're open on Saturday afternoons from 2 in the afternoon to 4 in the afternoon. This is free groceries and free clothing. Yes, we also have our clothing shop. And we have shoes. We have house goods. We're about to get furniture. Do so people just, make donations? Do people who can, do anybody make uh, donations uh, who are shopping? Oh, well, they can. We have a little box up there for people who want to donate. Mm-hmm. And people donate when they can. And, you know, it's not a big deal. We appreciate it when you do because, you know, the lights are expensive. Sure. But we don't, we don't ask for people. We don't say, oh, are you going to donate today? Mm-hmm. You know, if you have it, they give. If they don't, they don't. Do what t- can't you get enough of? What do you really need? Cash. Okay. I love that. Donate more of it. <laughs> no, I love There was not I, a hesitation like, there. No, I mean, the directness <laughs> yeah. of that. I mean, that's what you need. You need cash to keep the lights on, to keep everything flowing. You're open six hours a week, and you help 2,000 people. Yes. Now, the way we add that up is we have probably about about two to 300 that literally walk through the doors. But we count the people in their families because that's how you decide how much food you're going to get for the month. Mm-hmm. By the size of your family. And you can come shop every week if you want to. Until all of, what we do is we give an allotment of like a week's worth of groceries. And then you can either do it all at once and shop or you can come back. And I recommend people to come back and shop once a week because every week is something different. Because we live off of donations. We may not have potatoes this week, but we may have green peppers next week. So, you know, come back a little bit and just don't do it all at one time. And you can support the whole family. Is it all food stuff? Or do you... Diapers and light bulbs and... We do a little bit of everything. We have diapers. We have adult diapers. We have children's diapers. We have formula. We have baby food. Anything, I call it my (laughs) Z-Mart. Anything you can walk through Walmart and maybe see some of, I try to get a little bit of it for Mm -hmm. those people that just can't really afford it to go to Walmart. Do you take clothing and furniture donations from the public? We live off of them. Okay. And as fast as they come in is as fast as they're going out. Is it, do you take used clothing or just new clothing? Both. So what we do is we get we, the used clothes that we get. We literally have our little 
group of people that go through it, make sure it's clean, not stained up, not ripped up, not something we would want to wear. And that's what we put out. And we also get brand new clothes. We had over 130 brand new coats this winter. Wow, that's great. Wow. I've got bags and bags of clothes in my garage that I've been meaning to take somewhere. I'm bringing them to you. I, I, hopefully, hopefully you find some tall people in need, you know? You would be surprised. Tall people, We had you know. such a hard time finding <laughs> larger clothes, like size 2X, 3X clothes. Oh, my gosh. And men's clothes for the bigger size men. We had a shortage for a long time. So, yeah, we could use anything you well, can bring, I'm pretty sure. Don't you think? Yeah, there's nothing short about uh, John, any you, of my clothes. Don't you think clothing for people like you and me should be less expensive than clothing for people like Bodwell? We use much less material. I agree. Absolutely. Right? I agree 100%. They should do it by how many threads. <laughs> exactly. Like the sheets. <laughs> Bodwell needs to be paying way, much more than I pay. <laughs> hey, that's, um, that's probably right, though. But then when I go to a hotel, I was in a hotel in Charleston a couple weeks ago, and the shower, the ceiling in the shower was like a, an inch over my head. So I should have paid less for a room that you would have paid for. So still, you still had headroom. You had an inch it to all, spare. It all balances out. Oh. Mush, you're up next. Are you looking for volunteers? <laughs> <laughs> I do not want is that, that to stick. Is that a okay? nickname no, or is that no, no, or, is that no. a, or is that just go? <laughs> mush, mush, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, get it out. Guy, did you hear me? <laughs> it's <laughs> French in Alaska. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a long couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so are you looking for volunteer workers too? People to show up Most and help you sort and definitely. such? So we live off of volunteers. We have 11 paid employees. And then everyone else we have are all volunteers. And some pop in, some come in as a regular, like this, their nine to five job. And we appreciate anything we can get. We need some younger volunteers because we process our clothes down in the basement. And I can't ask the older people to go down there and pick them up and bring them up. So, sure. you know, I've got to recruit my children to do it. But I think they're trying to hide from me. <laughs> so. Mine do that. Yeah. <laughs> if I remember those, that's a lot of them to hide, though. Yes, yes. We have 13. Mm -hmm. Just tell them it's dinner time. Then they'll be out. They'll, they'll come around and, oh, it's dinner time as soon as you sort these clothes. Yeah. Do, I think they caught on. Do some of the folks who shop also volunteer? Yes. A lot of our shop people that shop come in for the first time. They're like, oh, I didn't know you guys were here. Do you looking for volunteers? And then the next time they come, they'll come an hour earlier and they'll volunteer and stay late. Are you putting money out of your own pocket to do this or are you at the point where the donations are covering it? No, the donations don't even cover it close. Um, we pay for all of the food. We pay for all the, the rent, the electric, the Wi-Fi. What's it costing you a month? If you, if you don't want to say, you don't have to, of course. Um, it's close to $3,000. So you need about $3,000 a month. To cover now, our overhead. Are you are you a, an organized charity with tax status that you can get like United Way help and stuff? Five hundred one three C baby and United Way. We're on their Unity campaign this year. Mm -hmm. So if you go to Unity United Way and then look up People of Worth are right there. You can donate it to us digitally, or you can come into the store and you can write a check to United Way or People of Worth. And then we have this little paper you can fill out so you can get your deductions from United Way. <laughs> and United Way will match. What they're did not penny for penny, but they're matching the funds that we get in up until Mar March 15th. So there's a light at the end of the tunnel for you then? Oh, most definitely. Is this your first year you may be able to get uh, Unity funds? Yes, this is our first time doing it. We're very excited. We've got some money coming in already, so it makes me feel like we're doing something right. And then we've got some fundraisers going on. Like we had a... a a soul food dinner mm -hmm. for the last Saturday in February. And we had pig feet and chitlins and fried chicken. I and feel bad for all those pigs walking around without feet, little crutches and stuff. It's sad. <laughs> Very sad. It, it was just, well, the chitlins <laughs> took care of that part of it. So mm -hmm. they good now. They all right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where this is going to go in the next minute <laughs> in terms of this defrocked pig. So we'll be careful here. Uh, again, that's at 226 Winchester Avenue. And, yes. and what hours and days are you open to distribute food and clothing? Tuesday and Thursdays from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for those that are home. And then on Saturday afternoons from 2 in the afternoon to 4 in the afternoon. Okay, and if someone would like to write a check or uh, uh, contribute money in any way, how would they do that, Sandria? You could go to the United Way page, the Eastern Panhandle United Way, look up People of Worth. We're right there. Just hit a button, and you can donate that way. Or you can come into the store and donate. Um, we would love to see you. Pop on in. We're never too busy to say hey. Um, and you also have something else coming up in, what, April? Yes, we're having our April fish fry. Good Friday is the 7th. Our fish fry is on the 8th. Okay, so, for the 8th, and where will that be and what time? It's going to be at the store, and it's from 1 to 5 p.m. It's a Saturday afternoon, so an hour before we open and an hour after we close. All right, any cost for that? 
It's ten dollars a plate. Mm-hmm. We're having three different types of fish: uh, fried potatoes, potato salad, cornbread rolls, and collard greens and string beans. Oh, and that sounds good. Man, my stomach's crumbling already. I need that before <laughs> the cheesecake. my cheesecake. Well, that's dessert. <laughs> Any, anything for dessert that day? Oh yeah, we have cookies and we have different uh, different cakes. And that'll be at, will that be at two twenty six Winchester Avenue as well? Two twenty six Winchester Avenue. We just got a food truck. That someone just donated to us. So he donated a food truck? Yes. You're starting yes. to make an impact now. So we're going to be able to... I love that. Maybe once a month have like the food truck out there to try to help cover some of the overhead. Because, mm-hmm. you know, like I said, we're not rich. And me and my husband, we're living off of hot dogs and rice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, congratulations on the work that you're doing. And uh, let's hope that you start to get uh, those Unity funds rolling in to help defray some of these costs here. Thank you. I appreciate it. We're doing things for the community. We've got sewing classes coming up and more parenting classes. Oh, and Telemon, we're working with them. Mm -hmm. So do the budgeting classes. Anyone that signs up for budgeting classes through us and goes to Telemon or goes to Telemon and they tell us, you get a week's worth of groceries for free. Very nice. Zondra, how do people get in touch with you? Up, oh, you can always give us a call. Our number is 304-240-2398. Again, that's 304-240-2398. Or you can go to peopleofworth.org. Or you can email us at peopleofworthinc at gmail.com. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. Please let us know how you're doing. Thank you. Zondria Lansdowne at 902. This is Talk Radio WRNR Martinsburg and